As we said earlier in the program, it's Footscray's centenary year, and uh, we thought we'd help them celebrate that, and we've brought quite a few personalities from their 1954 grand final side. The first guy we'll talk to is their vice-captain, Wally Donald. Wally, who played in the back pocket, welcome to our show. Thanks very much, Harry. Now, look, we've got some of the highlights, Jack, of that 1954 grand final. We'll show that first, and we'll have a talk to Wally Donald. Let's have a look at that grand <coughs> final. There we see them breaking the race, or breaking the streamers, and Charlie Sutton leading the team out. And, of course, some great names in that uh, Footscray uh, Premiership side. Ted Whitten, Jack Collins, uh, Donnie Ross. There was many great players. Herbie Henderson, Doug Reynolds. And, of course, uh, we had uh, Box playing at centre half forward. In the Melbourne side, we had Dennis Cordner, Lance Arnold, and there was uh, Ron Barassi, and not forgetting Laurie Mitt in the centre. Now, this film was shot from the top of the grandstand, and I think the guy was using a box brownie. <laughs> But we see some of the players. There's Barassi coming out of the pack. But I can't pick up some of these players. That's Dennis Corden. I can tell that by his wobbly old punt kick. And facing you now is Harvey Stevens walking up there. And there's a good mark taken there by uh, Jack Collins. A lot thinner than he is today. Here we are. <laughs> He's on a special diet now. Bread and butter and baked potatoes. Beautiful rhythm. Beautiful rhythm. He never missed that shot. And going for the knockout now is Stevens against Cordner. And that would be Reynolds in the Footscray colours getting the ball away. Now, i just got to pick that guy That's up. That's Duffy, I reckon. That's Duffy, yes. He's here today, Roger Duffy, all the way down from Canberra. I knew that because you're a left footer. And you can see Jack Dyer sitting in the crowd there. <laughs> you can tell this is scientific football, and they try to compare modern football with this. But just the same in fairness to these players, if they were trained under the same conditions, and were paid the same amount of money the players are getting today, I think they would have been just as good. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. The shot for goal. And there's Herbie Anderson kicking off, and a great uh, fullback. Represented Victoria Very. on many occasions, Jack. Very economical. Very, Very economical. economical. Very. He had a good back pocket player with him, though, you know, too. Wally Donald was a great backstop. Of course, Wally was vice-captain of the side, and uh, Wally Donald still got the scars on his shins for playing against a certain player at Collingwood in the uh, forward pocket. But at least I used to put iron on him a bit so he wouldn't get tetanus. De uh, beaten again, uh, Dennis Cordner, by uh, Harvey Stevens. And the kick going down there towards that half forward line for Footscray. There's a good bit of play, I think, on the part of Reynolds in a moment. I Who's couldn't pick 70? up this 30. Uh, that's Roger Duffy again. Got a nice style of a kick. I think Roger was a left footer. Beautiful kick. Used to throw the ball up like uh, a good player. Who's this one, what? That's Stock, uh, Stockman, Stockman. <laughs> and a uh, marvellous kick by Stockman. He was noted for his long kicking. <laughs> Held the record for many years at Footscray. I think it was uh, four and a half yards was his longest uh, kick. Stockman again. That's Stockman again. Nice style of a play. There's Charlie oh, Sutton going for a free kick. Appealing for him. And also, uh, Charlie used to have this great ability to umpire the game and to stand over the umpires. That's why possibly Footscray won the premiership. But Charlie didn't mind unfair play. Now, this scientific foot. Watch this a darn good bit of play here. Gets, uh, Doug, Reynolds. Doug, Reynolds Doug Reynolds coming out of the uh, pack ball. there, and he gets a hand pass again. Loses the ball, Ooh. but follows up well. Now, a left foot snap for goal, and the Footscray players become ecstatic about that goal, and, of course, that helped them to win. The final scores were 15-12, 102 points, Footscray, and they certainly <laughs> swapped Melbourne Jack 7-9-51. Mm, Bolly, that must bring back memories. Oh, it was oh. terrific, yes. Uh, I think the players around here this morning... Uh, would think that too because unfortunately in those days there wasn't too many films around and uh, I think we're looking forward to see this game again sometime. Oh yes, in slow motion. <laughs> well that is right too, yes. Uh, <laughs> Wally, does it worry you that players today are getting so much money and uh, in our day we got so little? No, Lou, I, I don't think it worries us. I mean, I, <clears throat> speaking with our chaps and probably you too, we prayed for practically peanuts. And uh, I think we would have played for less than peanuts just to get a game of league football. And I think the kids today would too if they'd got to the Well, situation. possibly so. I, th I think a lot of, a lot of the loyalties could gone out of the game now. They seem, they seem to, uh, well, if you don't fill their pocket before they come down, it, uh, they don't want to play football. But, uh, oh, well, uh, I think they must be earning it because as far as I can see, it's, it's a 12 months a year go. They, they train all the time. And uh, I, I don't know, they, they may have a lot of fun out of it, but uh, I think... Uh, for the comradeship that we had, and possibly all you, we 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 like like to see our mates all the time. He, he, we were, there's a comment in the room today there. 
Well, I think uh, you might have made it too, that uh, after we'd knock each other down and after the game we'd go in and have a drink together, umpires and all, and... Uh, that was something uh, you looked forward to. That's Warren, right, that, that was something, yeah. For Volte that, around that, after, after that's the That's right, match. yeah. But yeah, they I, tell I, me you got five pound a game, mate. No, no when I was, started it was three pound yeah. a game. Uh, now, wait uh, a we, minute. We, we graduated and uh, got a little bit more <laughs> as the time went on, but... Uh, Never been. mind, as I said, I think we would have all played for nothing. We yeah. really enjoyed it, and uh, it's a great game, and it's, it's good to see these players getting something out of it. Possibly some of them are, are going a little bit over the fence with it, but uh, as I say, they, they earn it for 12 months of the year.